the road to Tripoli. This is General Haftar's self-styled militia. It's substantial and it's moving west in a bid to take the capital. General Haftar, who's now on the move, controls the south and the east of the country. He set his sights on the Libyan capital. The United Nations-backed government, based in Tripoli, is supported by a range of militias. In order to defend the city, militias that support the UN-backed government are deploying their own troops to fend off General Haftar's offensive. But Haftar, who ordered his troops to take the capital on Thursday, is determined. Heroes, the time has come. It is time to advance, as you have always done, with a firm step towards Tripoli and to enter it peacefully. For Libyans, this is another escalation in a long and gritty power struggle. Conflict has rumbled on since the fall of Muammar Gaddafi in 2011 with militias vying for power and control of Libya's oil. The international community is worried. The head of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, was in Tripoli this week speaking with both General Haftar and the UN-backed government. Just before leaving Libya on Friday evening, he talked of hope. With uh, a deep concern and a heavy heart, I still hope it will be possible to avoid a bloody confrontation in and around Tripoli and the United Nations remain uh, available to facilitate any political solution able to unify the Libyan institutions and uh, whatever happens the UN will remain committed and I will remain committed to support the Libyan people. But hope seems to be running out. Near the capital, Haftar's forces are clashing with the militias that support the UN-backed government. The situation is uncertain, but Haftar's advance is unlikely to bring peace. The risk is renewed civil war. For more on the situation in Libya, we're joined by Mona Hefni of DW's Arabic service. Mona, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Um, militia forces commanded by Khalifa Haftar, they're advancing on the capital. The UN-backed government in Tripoli has sent out its militias um, in an attempt to stop them. Tell us, how serious is the situation? It is quite serious right now because, as we have seen, fighting has been ongoing uh, yesterday night uh, around the former international uh, airport of Tripoli. Also, after uh, the meeting of UN General Guterres, with, uh, with Haftar, uh, the UN envoy to uh, Libya, uh, Ghassan Salema, said that uh, Haftar made it obvious that he had no interest in halting the campaign. Um, and it is quite uh, obvious that uh, Haftar is determined to take over the capital. So it is quite serious. Tell us more about Khalifa Haftar. What exactly is he trying to achieve? Um, he is a quite powerful man. He has um, a, a quite a rich history. Um, he has helped Gaddafi uh, to overthrow the former king of uh, Libya. Then afterwards, while he was in Chad, he was captured for uh, almost 20 years. Afterwards, he moved uh, to exile in the US. Uh, and uh, worked for the CIA there, and he helped. Uh, uh, um, um, he helped for the fall of uh, Gaddafi afterwards in 2011. Now his most important aim is to take over the capital, of course, because the one who takes over the capital is the one in power, basically. If he succeeds, what, what could happen if the UN-backed government fails? It is quite unclear what, we, what will happen right now because we could have one scenario which is uh, quite similar to the Egyptian scenario with uh, cracking down the Muslim Brotherhood, which is centred in, uh, in, the, in the capital right now. But uh, the thing is that um, other countries around Libya would, might be also endangered because he has threatened last year Algeria uh, to, uh, uh, to, to um, start a war. And he has said that he will move up to Tripoli and then afterwards he might move to Algeria, which, which might mean that there will be also turbulences around uh, Libya. What could the international community do to stop um, this situation from escalating further? I think the international community can't do very much because first, uh, the international community all, only condemns things by words. Uh, it does not really interfere. Although there are also double standards, like in the uh, like the Emirates, um, who stated that it is against this uh, intervention, but on the other hand, or, or against this move, but on the other hand, it supports uh, Haftar. So we don't really know what's happening right now. But um, I think in the end. 
and um, it will not much will happen because Haftar is a man, not a man of words. He's a man who talks with weapons and who is determined to reach his goal. Mona Hefni, thank you so much for your analysis. Thank you.